Okay, today is a very rainy, hazy day. Yucky day, and this is the forecast right now, and it's actually drizzling. Drizzling on my camera too. And I just saw rain on my camera, but this is today's forecast for February 13th. Very rainy. <laughs> so happy Mardi Gras, happy Malasada day, happy whatever you celebrate happy today. Shane Dawson day. <laughs> so it's rainy, yes. as you can see. We still have to go and take care of an errand and get out of this rain. And we we're gonna get malasadas, but the line was like super nope. long. Nope, nope. <laughs> and I'm not gonna stand in the rain for malasadas. And in case you don't know what a malasada is, it's a Portuguese donut and it tastes very, very good. Why not spam musubi? And malasadas. So. We need to go across the street and we'll check in with you guys later. Later. The tour guide. Yeah. We're matching. You and I both have black on. But I have shade. Yeah, you have shade. We're still waiting for the bus to go home and it's still raining. In case you didn't know, here in Hawaii, usually on the day before Ash Wednesday, Mardi Gras. It's called Malasada Day. It's called Malasada Day here in Hawaii. It's like a tradition. You know how people, they give up meat starting Ash Wednesday. So it's like, I guess like a party. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Hi. Hi. So we went to Office Max across the street. Took care of some business. Now we're waiting for the bus to go home. This Aloha made lily koi pasta juice along with some salad. I, I love French dressing. I know it looks like a big lump of white. Yeah, but I love French dressing. <laughs> and Logan ate his lunch already. He had um cereal for. Well, at least you're eating something. Yeah. And then you here I have shrinked my shredded trees as well as cucumbers. And then this is spinach leaves and then at the bottom I have regular like green lettuce not iceberg lettuce but different type of lettuce and this is my lunch so starting tomorrow because I was brought up not to eat meat leading up to Easter that 40 days I'm sure a lot of you know it about it but if you guys don't know what just leave some questions in the comments and I'll be more than willing to um, answer them for you but sometimes I love to give myself personal challenges to see how far I can go in like doing them so starting tomorrow I will not be eating for 40 days I'm gonna try for the 40 days I'm sure I'm gonna slip up and I my thing is if I slip up I can always have like an extra day to make up for it I'll give myself credit for that, but um, of not eating not only land animals, any type of land animal meat, and just seafood meat in general, you know, like shrimp, that kind of stuff, tuna. So that's my challenge for the next 40 so days. Basically, I guess I'll be like going vegetarian. I guess you'll say I'll still have probably dairy products, but as long as it's not like the actual animal products, so. I wanted to challenge myself to see if I can do it from starting tomorrow, February 14th, all the way to Easter and hopefully beyond. And I know a lot of people probably say, oh, you're limiting yourself. But if you look into it, there's a lot of things that don't require me of any kind. So 
I'm gonna challenge myself to do that and see if I can not only number one lose weight but to generally get more healthier I am already um, physically healthy I don't have high cholesterol or diabetes or anything like that so that's a good thing but this is just a challenge for me to see what I can do and prove to myself that hey you know what if I put my mind to it I can really do it just like this YouTube thing and we just finally re got 231 subscribers we lost two so we're back up to, to, to 231 so I need to go to Target and get that gift card if anybody's um, interested in that giveaway um, so yeah I'm sorry I didn't vlog yesterday it was just like a family airing kind of a day to where it was kind of personal businesses businesses that I didn't feel like filming or sharing publicly so that's why I didn't film anything but I have an idea in mind for a couple of videos this week of I love photography if you guys follow me on Instagram my personal Instagram um, you guys would know that I'm always taking pictures of wherever we go and I do have a photography um, Instagram account and Facebook page which I'll link down below and I already sold four pictures of my photography one of them is right there my mom that big one my mom bought that and there's another one in the frame that my mom has on the desk over there but you know I really want to get more into that photography and selling and getting my work out there and whatnot so I want to personally like post a vlog just dedicated to showing you guys my work and I'm willing to work with if you guys see any pictures or you guys want pictures of Hawaii scenery if you guys aren't from here I'm more than willing to work with you on what kind of pictures you want and I'll show you kind of pictures that I already have on file that maybe you guys will want I did lose my cameras from the move when we moved back in August but I do take a lot with my iPhone which I'm filming on now and I can take the pictures and like find a website on computer that I can edit the pictures on and also I was given thank you to those people who did a camera that I can go and take pictures as well again until I can get my cameras that I personally would want to use to take pictures but I'm more than willing to work with any of the you guys if you guys are interested seeing the work that I did in making like different types of um frames you know sizes canvases whatever and i'm willing to work with you guys as well as um pricing and whatnot so i'll be making a video dedicated to that so you guys can see because it is one of my passions and now that i'm filming we're filming more with vlogs and whatnot i'm really getting into it so i really want to work um into these things so um i'll I'll get here for today and hopefully this will make up for what we didn't film yesterday um but yeah so stick tuned for that and i'll show you as much as possible pictures that i took that's edited and not edited that i think came up pretty good and i am an amateur photographer but you know what? i love taking pictures and i felt that over the years i've gotten better i just want to practice more on people so even Logan sometimes I take good pictures of him but I love to do more so just to see where it go will go and I got so many wonderful comments and I even had someone ask me if I was willing to do a dialysis clinic for them for pictures but I haven't heard anything yet so um so yeah when that time comes I'll talk more about it but so stick tuned to that and you know what I don't know if you guys noticed it my lips are actually stained pink because I yesterday and today I've been using I tried lip scents I bought lip scents for my birthday in August it was a, the pink champagne color which looks like this and it was it kind of blends in with my lips so it doesn't really look like I have lipstick on and I have I and then 
from a friend of mine. I bought this Sassy Z. And it's a great color. I love it because it's, I feel like I'm branching out because I'm usually with like the nudies. But it stained my lips pink. And no matter how much times I use it with the remover, it's still stained. So I know this is all over the place. But thank you again for watching. And we'll... I'll probably work on the video tomorrow for the photography, showing you guys my work and whatnot. And um, yeah, I'm hungry, so I need to eat. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Got anything to say, Logan? Yeah. Uh, he's watching YouTube. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.